Hello everyone, so in this video I want to go over how to farm mountain trolls in Talus Chute right outside of Drachnar's Forge, and I'm just using a shout hero to give myself a little speed boost to run there. And depending on how lucky you are with the spawn, there's this tango group that could be in your way like it is here. So I'm just going to use the speed boost hero to run through it, and then basically just use the hero as fodder for them to attack while you run away, because they will follow you a pretty good distance if you don't flag the hero back. Also, depending on the spawn, there could be mountain trolls outside the cave right around this area. So if the Tengu group is not in your way, you could just attack them and farm them. But in this case, they were a little bit too close and there was no mountain troll group that spawned there. So anyway, we're heading towards the back of the cave. And before I aggro these trolls, I'm just going to cast Shroud of Distress. And I'm going to keep running back here where there will be another group. And sometimes there's this stone summit guy that spawns for whatever reason and the mountain trolls will just attack him, just let him kill it. But anyway, once all the trolls are done killing him, they'll come to you, and you just want to right wall block them and start attacking. So just like with any other Flashing Blades build, you want to make sure you maintain Flashing Blades at all times, and you always want to be attacking so you get that 75% chance to block their attacks. You also want to keep track of how much energy you have, because once Flashing Blades recharges, you want to immediately recast it so you can maintain its effects. You also want to do the same thing with Shrouded Distress. However, you don't have to cast it immediately because the enchantment lasts a little bit longer, but you always want to maintain Shrouded Distress as well. So anyway, you just keep attacking them until they die. Once they get to about a little less than half of their health, they'll start using Healing Signet, but you just keep attacking them and they'll die anyway. I should also mention at this point that you don't necessarily have to right wall block them, however it does help kill them a lot faster, it's a lot quicker to do it this way, otherwise they would just scatter all over the place and you have to wait for them to come back into the ball and it, it just takes a little bit longer. So once you're done farming this group of mountain trolls, there's actually another group that we can farm and that group has a warrior boss in it called Krog Smush, I think that's how you say it. And his group can spawn either on the north or the south end of the cave. In this case, he spawned on the south. So whichever end he does spawn on, there will be a ranger boss on the opposite end with a similar group of mountain trolls around it. Now if you want to, you could go and farm that group as well, but you would have a really difficult time killing the ranger boss. You may not even be able to do it because he has the escape skill which will start to block your physical attacks and he'll also be casting frozen soil and troll unjman unjman however you say that word the the healing ranger spell and when he's casting those spells he won't be attacking you and he won't be triggering the flashing blade effect to deal damage back to the attacker so my personal opinion is that it's not even worth trying to kill that group so anyway, the warrior boss is pretty easy to kill. Just aggro his group and pull him back into a right wall block just like the other group. And just target Krog Smush and keep attacking. Just be sure to maintain flashing blades and try to distress like before. And they'll eventually all die. Now just as an additional tip, I would bring some lock picks because there could be a lock chest or two that spawns either on the boss side of the cave here, either on the north or south side. We're back in the center of the cave, and you could get some pretty cool stuff in those chests. And after that, that's pretty much the farm. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. And if you like Guild Wars videos, if you like Guild Wars farming, I'm always making this kind of content. So please consider subscribing. And yeah, thanks for watching.